defeat this issue of limitation in my life and my family hallelujah listen listen mention the aspects where you are facing limitation don't feel embarrassed mention them and say lord let your fire come upon it lift your voice and pray koinonia pray pray your way to breakthrough sopata teka repoto patata sente teke pretekete superia tadaraba we lift up an incense of prayer 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 change lives break limits financial limits suppose intellectual limits marital limits job limits we break it we break limitations business limitations ministry limitations limitations of potentials hallelujah every time limits are broken the Lord will bring a man to hold your hands and create the opportunity for the next level of your life are you hearing what I'm saying? Bishop Oyedeko will say there are days and there are certain days. May this night be the certain day. Listen. Your next level is in the hands of a certain man. The Bible says they wanted to kill Joseph. But a certain man came and they said they wanted to buy him. If not because of that certain man, they would have killed him. Are you following me now? The Bible talks about a man who was crippled. He could not carry himself. Certain men, no names, they lifted him and opened the sea. Oh God, whoever is that certain man that must appear in my destiny, I come, I compel them to come. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice. Destiny help us. Financial help us. Spiritual help us. Man of influence, man of access. Sopotoposh, Rokotoposh, Reketetete. Men that will connect us to our next level. Men that will connect us to our next dimension. Please pray, 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 pray. Lord, we call them for. Hallelujah. When Jesus died, hear me. The prophet prophesied that his body will not see corruption. But he was hanging on that cross. There was no place to bury him. And a certain man came called Joseph of Arimathea. An influential man. If he was poor and broke, the king would not hear him. The Bible says a poor man's wisdom is despised. You are going to pray concerning your finances does it make sense to you to pray you are going to pray and say lord whoever must appear to change my financial destiny i receive their ministry come on now pray come on now pray support the table time and chance happens to them all time and chance Cyrus or a son of the kingdom pray we embrace their ministry we embrace their ministry I call them forth. Come on, pray. I call them forth. Man.
men of influence, kings, destiny helpers, spiritual helpers, financial helpers, academic helpers, men of influence, men who can talk to kings, pray. Hallelujah. Please leave your neighbor. Joseph would have died in the prison, although anointed. There are many people here, your anointing will remain dormant until God sends a man to see it, announce it, and let the world celebrate it. John the Baptist announced Jesus' ministry. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are many of us, we have great ideas, great businesses, but there needs to be a certain man who will let the world know that great things are happening here. Please hear what I'm saying. There are many of you, your, your academic qualification is bigger than where you are. You have done your best. When you have done all you need to do, you need another man who is not you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Certain men, certain men. It was the wine presser that told the king, He said, I know my wrongs this day. There is a man, oh, there is a man. Many of us have sharpened our spiritual potentials, you have sharpened your leadership potentials. It's not pride, you know that it's time to break forth. But the distance between you and the next level is that certain man. Lift up your hands. Oh God, where is this certain man? Let him come into my life. Come on, pray one more time. one man to change your business one man to change your ministry one man one man hallelujah listen to me there are many of you here with great business ideas hallelujah all you need is capital you have done everything you should do you need somebody to believe in you enough hallelujah listen truly the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong one man can announce what god is doing in your life and bring to your life men who have been designed to honor it I shared that scripture to none of the widows in Israel was a prophet sent God sent that to the one who could see his difference and honor him many of you have been in a place you have potentials for the throne but something is tying you down because you are hanging around people who cannot see what God is doing in your life is God speaking to someone here there are many of our parents with their qualifications they should never have to beg even if, you, if the cost of living on earth is one million per day they should not be begging but they need one man to announce them one man to recommend them please take seriously what i'm saying because this is somebody's prayer request oh lord if somebody can believe in my business enough to pump even if it's just hundred thousand there are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us in ministry here we are great people this ministry you see today we enjoy recommendations mysterious recommendations while i was coming somebody was trying to call me again and again from the uk and he was saying man of god don't ask me how i got to find out about you and have your number he said when a man is in trouble he will look for help anyhow are you getting my point while you are sitting down to sleep somebody is waking others to talk about you but you must activate it it doesn't happen by magic are you getting what i'm saying 
there are many professors and doctors being underutilized because there is a system that cannot honor what they carry there are many of you who graduated with excellent results you've even added masters and the king sent for joseph somebody must send for you to lead the level that you have and i prophesy whoever should send for you in the name that is above all names listen listen there is a man of god a popular man of god i'll not mention names the man had the gift of god like whatever but nothing could announce that grace are you hearing what i'm saying people needed his anointing and his gift but nobody could announce it and then something happened one day he entered a taxi true story when he entered the taxi the holy spirit told him sow a seed of thirty thousand naira to the driver and he didn't have much and he told the driver take and he sowed that seed ah the driver looked at him he said what will i give you he said nothing he said sir can i collect your number and he collected his number please listen to me this is a true story when he collected his number the guy dropped he said talk may god bless you he was feeling bad he did not know that that was his moment of victory listen the very next person that will enter that car listen they were part of the regional organizers of redeem the convention in uk are you getting me one of the regions and then the man was talking as a kite we're looking for a man of god to complete the ministers we are bringing and we need men of integrity you know and the driver said sir there was a man that gave me his number this guy is a true man of god and that was it i'm serious they called him and they said sorry we are from this this region of redeem i tell you they brought that man after that ministration there were so many men of god that he never would have been able to see are you getting my point they all called him and said we'd like you to come and and minister mike mudok met a young man who was very gifted gifted but there was nothing working in his life and my mudok looked at him and came and he said god told me to bless you he wrote 17 letters to different ministries and said this is an anointed man please open doors for him and the guy got 17 invitations everybody it does not take time to change your story what looks like a mountain is in the pocket of another person are you hearing what i'm saying are you tired of praying are you tired of praying because we must call them for i don't want to waste your time let me just share it i don't know if he shared his testimony did you share your testimony Yerima? i'm not sure he shared his testimony maybe at an appointed time but let me say a bit of it what ambassador eh? unilever this come he just came back today we met together at the airport in abuja and then we came back together by the grace of god are you getting my point and by the ministry of just one great man prof hallelujah he has been selected as the ambassador of unilever nigeria I, listen 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 the race is not to the swift they just came back from their training in lagos and we even bombed i was waiting for my luggage and i just saw him and they had told me he called me in lagos and he said he was around we never met how god can change a man's story my father worked for more than 10 or 15 years as assistant director of engineering there was no man to lift him his genius were rising and they, they they just trampled this man and it so happened that one man who used to be his junior he when when we went for crusade in 2006 six years he was the one who interpreted for me and he was also the one who interpreted for renard bonke when he came to joss he was that man on account of the kindness he went and said one or two things about my father and when they went to my father's um cv and all of that they said where has this man been they said immediately he should leave joss and report to lagos he has been there for three years now many of us are praying lord take me to the next level i'm telling you the secret you need a man hear me there are things you cannot do for yourself you may be anointed but your grace will remain there until a man can announce you may have a great business a multi-million and 
billion dollar business but it takes one man to believe in you and announce you are you getting my point i know one of my friends he was my classmate very intelligent and brilliant guy this guy finished further his education there was nobody to speak for him and this guy kept struggling for years nobody to speak for him and one day i i prayed i said oh lord god help this guy this guy has paid the price look when i say i i think i will classify him as a genius and i'm not telling a lie but i know other people before they even finish service the road has been made plain you need someone in your life please pray and say oh god send this man that can believe in me and announce what you have invested in my life please pray send a man to change my music ministry oh god send a man send a man into my family say lord by the instrument of the prophetic i call forth they that have been destined to take me to the next level to take my family make sure you are praying lord prophetically pray those who will open doors of jobs doors of marriages doors of ministry doors of anointings doors of favor doors of lifting doors of success doors of increase doors of breakthrough make sure you are praying pray it with all your heart your family story can change you have been praying and fasting could this be the message could this be the message pray say lord whether in lagos or abuja or kano or sanfara the united states the caribbean by the prophetic power of the spirit let there be a connection orchestrate a meeting let there be a meeting pray pray god wants to take you from this level to another it's a year of supernatural exploits exploits by the spirit your story can change activate defining moments activate breakthrough in your life come on prophesy i call them they are coming into my life from the north the east the south i pray for e and i destiny help us are coming we receive them we receive them we receive them we receive them hallelujah let me give you one little story look at me when professor madi was the vice chancellor of amadu Bello university many of you did not meet him there was a gentleman who did very well but he did not get admission hallelujah and the guy just went for reasons he could not explain he went and sat down near the senate in the night and professor madi had the culture of walking into students hostels walking around just to see what is going on and when he walked he saw the gentleman and he called him he said why are you sitting down here he said sir look at my work result look at everything but my catchment area is not there and they didn't give me admission he said you are such a brilliant boy do you know what he told him he said go home and pack your load and come back when he came back they had printed his, admi his admission letter this is true it's a confirmed story hallelujah i know about a student who had been victimized for years till he was in 300 level whatever it is that happened either his name or his matriculation number clashed and what this guy was seeing was not his real cgpa this guy would work so hard but when the exams come out he would not be it and then one day someone just came in and for whatever reason the person decided to start cross-checking things the next thing they put on the notice board that they wanted to see him when they called him they said he should go and bring 
his results and his courses that he registered do you know true life story when they, this guy was uh, maybe around 1.7 something by the time they corrected everything he was supposed to be in 2 1 in all sincerity my cousin my cousin was a student in this school my cousin was a student in this school he wrote a major exam that he got a and when the result came out they gave him f this guy they didn't know he knew that he had he had read but you see sometimes even when you have the evidence you don't have access to the king there are many of us that have evidences that would wipe our night time but that access to the king hallelujah and one day god raised a visiting prophet who just came and he just complained and showed him everything the man took on the case by himself until they rectified it look at me for a moment what do you expect god to do in your life and in your family it's in the hands of someone it's in the hands of someone that breakthrough is in the hands of someone a house to complete for your loved ones to go to school let me tell you no matter what it is expand your mind tonight there are men who are carriers of miracles they don't even know there are some of you that your loved ones need some jobs they have been suffering you know that they want to change where they are working or they don't even have a job they are praying they are applying cv after cv if it is destiny help us they will accelerate your path you will jump protocols we are going to pray say lord i receive discernment to see these people when they come into my life lift up your voice and pray it takes discernment it takes discernment it takes discernment say lord let me discern they may not be my tribe they may not be my friends they may be the enemies of our family but lord grace to discern when you are about to use them to change our story hallelujah final prayer point now you're going to pray and speak over your life and tell yourself you are breaking through and breaking forth on the left and right don't keep quiet please don't keep quiet prophesy i break through from the left the right the east the west oh hallelujah I activate breakthroughs. I establish it in the name of Jesus. By the spirit of prayer, I contend against every power of darkness. Come on, pray. Pray against every satanic force. Pray against every power of darkness that wants to attempt to abort your breakthrough god wants you to smile god wants you to smile god wants you to smile he wants to encourage you he wants your life to be fruitful satan get lost be lifted all ye gates let the family of koinonia receive breakthroughs I prophesy breakthroughs, breakthroughs, breakthrough, financial breakthrough, marital breakthrough, family breakthrough, academic breakthrough, spiritual breakthrough, breakthrough in your job. Let your family members smile. I provoke it from the realm of the spirit. I provoke it from the heavens. I activate the angelic. I activate the angelic. Let angels begin to move to every family. Let angels begin to move over your academic. Angels move over your finances. Angels move over your family. Angels move 
I activate the operation of angels. Contend with the powers in the heavens and release breakthroughs for God's people. Let the angelic contend with the powers that delay, that stop people from entering their prophetic breakthrough. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthroughs. I release breakthrough. I speak it in your life. I send an anointing into your life. A breaker anointing. A breakthrough anointing. I send it into your life. I send it into your academics. I send it into your family. I send it into your finances. Those you do not know. I cause them to arise and help you. I cause them to arise and help you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands everybody. Everywhere your gift is needed. I command them to begin to talk about you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I activate breakthrough for you. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere your gift is needed. Whoever needs your gift in Nigeria. I stand as a servant of God. I command a connection in the realm of the spirit beginning from tonight 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 in the name of Jesus hallelujah I pray for every one of your family members looking for a job my God and my King tonight let testimonies rise from this message no matter how long tonight let someone talk to somebody talk to somebody and talk to somebody and connect them for breakthrough in the name of jesus for your family members i command help us those who will connect them to projects and contracts and opportunities yes they don't merit it but by the power of destiny help us I connect them to the breakthrough for the next level in the name of Jesus where you have cried academically I connect you to help us professors who will help you admin staffs who will help you admin staff who will help you members in the senate who will help you whether for accommodation whether for your result whether for missing script whether for your wayek whatever it is in the name of jesus as the senate and the faculty board members meet over your results and your performance may a strange man enter that meeting and advocate for you in the name of jesus anywhere they want to turn down your family members or turn down anything let a strange man come we don't want to know the name let a strange call come let a strange connection come i prophesy it i release it to you in the name of jesus i release testimonies 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 from this breakthrough experience beginning from tonight i command calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us calls from destiny help us connections with destiny help us they will travel and come and meet you you will meet them on the street they will come to your homes in the name of jesus you will see them in your dreams god will connect you for every one of your family members that is supposed to be married and they are not married the husbands or the wives they are not in space they are here on earth lord we pray tonight as a family by the power that is in the name of the resurrected christ i pray let help us lead partners to their mates in the name of jesus 
Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. We command supernatural marital connections in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We bind every devil. We bind every power that attempts to cause delay. We set them free from every curse and every yoke of bondage. Be released in the name of Jesus. ministry of destiny help us all through this week I want you to pray cry out and say Lord bring them I believe you will hear fearful testimonies in this place as a result tonight I've shown you a very mighty secret don't forget it too soon hold it every time you are praying over something the answer is in the hands of another person Stop beating about the bush. Every man and every authority can answer when God calls. Yours is just to pray that God will connect you. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon and you are about to use it now. Ha! And he showed me Joshua the high priest standing before the Lord and the accuser came before him attempting to rail accusations and he said is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire and he said the Lord rebuke you listen the mercy of God is a weapon you can use it and say Satan Satan I know you are supposed to destroy me but what about this I present to you the mercy of God I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father standing and speaking I present to you the sinless blood I present to you Calvary Shift your voice Invoke mercy hey! Invoke mercy Invoke mercy Tonight you are going to use it as a weapon over the devourer. I know I've not been a titer. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood, when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life and all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood, when I see the blood, you are involved in all kinds of blood covenant and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! Invoke mercy, mercy. Come on now. Invoke mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, blotting out every handwriting 
there are handwritings there are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed there are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again the devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone there is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given but tonight plead the blood it can blot it out come on now it can blot it out it can blot it out it can blot out it can blot out it can blot out Was he praying? Hear me. A cause causeless shall not stand. A cause causeless. So if the blood of Jesus takes away the legal access, the effect must leave me to open your mouth and declare every pattern you have been blotted, blotted you need my life patterns of barrenness patterns of failure come on now koinonia are you praying Listen, 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 listen. When you activate this, you will find out that no longer will there be an accusation to say, Oh, you once in, were in the world, you committed 19 abortions, and blood is speaking, and that's why your life is not moving. It should not move. But now that you have invoked mercy, it makes the cause causeless. That means it should not come again. Are we together? You stole money. Help them, please. And all of that, you destroyed another person's destiny. But, but now that you are in Christ, what of the blood? He showed me Joshua the high priest. Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life, oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we are going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. And say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and laws by the blood of the eternal are you praying? Alienated every biological disorder. 
But your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. Your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. I like you to pair yourselves into three. Find someone who is serious. Anybody who is not praying, leave him alone. Pair yourselves into three. Three, three. And you are going to, for the next two or three minutes, I like you to blast in tongues non stop. This month of July, we are declaring war over the gates of darkness. Lift your voice and pray that a threefold cord cannot be easily broken. Pray, Pray like a priest. Pray like a priest. Shabarato koto shepegete. Eke ne kata baraka to shabaya. Le pronto soto pero shabaraka. Lord, the gates must open. Lord, my destiny must be revived. My spiritual life must be revived. My finances, my family, arise, O God of heaven. Shabadakata, Shabadakata, Lakata Kata Kata. My ministry is time to break forth on the left, on the right. Pray, 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 pray. Sabara Samara Koto Sobat, Lakatapa Kora Sadamalakash, and the Kato Samyabalakos. Take it, 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 take it,
Alléluia. 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 You are going to pray. You are still holding the hand of the person. Father, enough is enough. What kept my father? Kept my mother. Lord, I come by the message of God. It must break in my life. Lift your voice and cry. Lift your voice and cry. Lord, enough is enough. Enough of failure. Enough of poverty. Enough of burying my loved ones. Something has to break loose. Enough of struggling ministry. Enough of struggling my spiritual life. Pray, pray, pray. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire burn in this place. Let fire, fire burn in this place. Pray. Shaka ta 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 ta. Raka ta 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 ta. Every day, every day, every day, every day.
Jesus, we have thrown his over all the works of darkness. in one minute we are going to pray just two prayer points i like you to lift up your voice and declare that in the name of jesus i'm walking in the experience of the victory the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the blood of jesus the victory that the death of jesus the victory of his triumphant resurrection lift your voice and declare Never will it become a prophetic reality. It is becoming my experience. Victory over generational curses. Victory over yokes and bondages. I've not I've not taught it the next time we're doing deliverance and I'll be teaching you on all of the elements but one of the mysteries that produce true true deliverance is the mystery of the blood are we together it's one of the three witnesses the Bible says and there are three witnesses that bear three that bear witness in heaven the father the word and the spirit it says that there are three witnesses this is where the problem is the earth it says the spirit the water and the blood are we together the bible guarantees us that the blood of jesus speaketh. the blood of jesus speaketh. that means you can cause the blood to advocate the blood of Jesus is an advocate. There is the advocacy ministry of the blood. The same way Cain killed Abel. Abel the man had died. But Abel the blood was speaking. And he cried. And God himself had to say no something is happening. Although the man had died. But the blood is still speaking. speaking. I'd like you to engage the blood. And say in the name of Jesus. I declare that I'm a partaker of the ministry of the blood i invoke the advocacy of the blood open your mouth and speak open your mouth and speak over every pattern over every curse over every yoke
the blood speaks the blood speaks over the ordinance of our fathers the blood speaks hallelujah but your deliverer is coming your deliverer is standing by your deliverer is coming. Your deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Going to pray. It's just going to be praying in tongues now. I want you to find a corner, my brother, my sister. Take your life serious. In the next five minutes, instrumentalists just charge the atmosphere for us. Blast in tongues and refuse upon Mount Zion. And it shall come to pass in that day. And it shall come to pass in that day. In that day. In that day, that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder and the yoke from off your neck, and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Please pray, pray. Please pray. If you are tired, hold the hands of somebody that can agree with you. Pray for your destiny. Pray. Enough is enough, oh God. The victory of Christ, the work of Jesus on the cross, cannot be in vain. The substitutionary sacrifice of the Son of the living God cannot be in vain.
Jesus. I want you to lay your hands on your womb as we are praying, brothers. Just pray in tongues. I like you to declare that no seed of any entity that is not of God will find. I will not give birth to any stranger. No, leka poskata barata, shalaka poskata. Pray. No matter the ordinances of the fathers, no matter the enchantments of the ancient, I come by a new order and I declare my womb will produce that seed of the woman that will bruise the head of the serpent. I cause five broil. I cause five broil. Cause every devil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Brothers, I'd like you to pray. The spirit that keeps men in one place. You don't move forward. You don't move backward. You stay. No productivity. Every gentleman here, open your mouth and blast in tongues. Father in the heavens, this is better. Shabbata Katoskata. The yokes, the altars, and everything that tie my life, that tie my destiny, by the mystery of deliverance, I challenge. I challenge it is upon Mount Zion the spirits that cause failure. Hallelujah. Listen. Demons came into being when the spirit assist, assisted men. So your victory comes into being when the spirit assists you. It says, I am the God of Bethel. I have seen the oppression that Laban has done. The victory will not just happen. Forget about the physical things in the realm of the spirit. You are going to cry for divine assistance. I provoke the ministry of angels over every affair of my life. Lift your voice and pray. Cry. Are they not ministering spirits? Are they not ministering spirits? My brothers and sisters, are they not ministering spirits? Send to minister for them that be the heirs of salvation. I call for assistance from heaven. Oh God of Jeshua, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the helper of men, the lifter of men, the deliverer. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Angels on assignment. Judging the wicked. Delivering the prophecy of God concerning my life. Every attribute.
spirit of the flesh that gives access to any spirit in my life by the mystery of the blood I declare that that door is closed forever lift your voice and pray come on lift your voice and pray you I feel fire in this place listen everything God has shown you either as a revelation from his word or as a revelation from the realm of the spirit you're going to declare Jacob did not just see the spotted calves and left them in the realm of the spirit they had to come and interact the word must become flesh I'd like you to lift your voice and cry Jacob's katabata Every anointing, every mantle, every mandate, every dimension, the prophetic, the apostolic, prosperity, increase, speed, deliverance that God has shown me. Lord, you showed me victory. I declare, I declare, I declare, it must find expression. going to pray listen carefully whether you are an usher or not please if anyone is under the anointing or manifesting around you just help them are we together the very serious prayer we're going to pray now you are going to pray that if by any means there is any spirit entity in my life or around me it's time for you to come out it's time for you to go listen as you pray this prayer many strange things will start happening to you don't worry about it you just focus on this prayer and pray with all your heart and watch what happens say in the name of Jesus say it in the name of Jesus I decree and declare by the authority of the Lord Jesus Christ that any spirit entity finding expression in my mind in my body around my life hear the word of the Lord I cast you out of my life now lift your voice and pray pray fire is falling pray fire is falling I cast every spirit, I cast every devil, I cast every spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost. My mind, my body, around my life, around Koinonia, in the name of Jesus, around my family. Your mind 
married also pray for your family pray for your children I cast every devil
of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I declare that the sin of the fathers, the sin associated with my lineage, I declare that every mistake of the past, I plead the blood over it. Lift your voice and plead the blood. The ordinances of the fathers. You are just pray, pray. Sabaratoka shana manana bakata. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus, I stand. On behalf of myself and my family and I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us we command that it must return tonight lift your voice and pray everything Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit. You spirit. Behind the tragedies in my life, say every spirit behind the failures in my life, behind the delay in my life, behind every retrogression, behind every closed door, hear ye the word of the Lord tonight. Your legal hold is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the sack circles of failure. The spirit behind the circles of defeat. Hallelujah. I want you to pair yourselves into two very quickly. Just find someone, find a neighbor somewhere. The next our time is gone but in the next three minutes all i want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit just pray in the spirit go ahead and pray just go ahead and pray Shakara, 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 Shakara,
Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, For out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, O God. Send help, O God. Send help, O God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When a man is supposed to give you a job and gets angry because something happened and packs all the employment letter and shelves it and they forget about it for the next two years, the guy to help Joseph came out and forgot him for two years. It was after two years by the mercy of God, he said, I remember my wrong. So he acknowledged it was wrong. I pray whoever has forgotten you that must remember you, may they remember their wrong and may they correct it. Every anointing and every grace that God preordained that should be resting upon your life, your ministry right now, and by some activity of darkness, it has not yet touched your head. I declare, may that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. May that unction rest on you now. Remember what I taught you about words. Never forget, words are trades. God is serving you something 
he's only using words are you ready to receive the prayer of favor again don't say you have said it before remember that they build and they prosper through the prophesying not once Jesus your Jesus touched the eyes of a man and he said what do you see this is the word touching a man's eyes he said I'm seeing but I see men like trees Jesus said nonsense he touched his eyes again and he saw men clearly if he if he was left like that listen we want to we want to destroy the spirit that aborts complete miracles so the miracle starts in your life but never finishes have you seen people like that it starts in your life but never finishes in the name of jesus because according to scripture if the hand of zerubbabel starts a thing that hand should complete it i'm praying right now every miracle that has started when elijah saw the rain like the fist of a man's hand it didn't stop as a fist it became an abundance of rain therefore i declare what you have seen like the fist of a man's hand it must come to completion in your life must come to completion in your life so you get a job but they say you need an interview you pass stage one you pass stage two they even give you small pocket money and you are happy it's almost as if you are employed then when the final list comes out your name is not there a lady sent me a text crying that a gentleman came and paid her dowry and ran away what did he do he paid her dowry and ran away it's better that that lady were never married than the one that you gathered people they paid your dowry then he ran away let me say it again the bible says he that has begun this good work except it's not a good work what my god has started in your life in the name of jesus it must come to end let me pray for your family that in the name of jesus whatever has brought pain to your family whatever has brought shame whatever has brought distress right now i prophesy by the power of the holy spirit we come from different families and we know the various challenges that we left from our different families therefore i prophesy to you right now in the name of jesus that every challenge you left from your family let that challenge be turned into a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now let it be turned to a testimony now now let me prophesy a very serious prophecy for you everything you saw from january that god vowed with his integrity in the place of your retreat he showed you things you know it's not guesswork you know that god told you certain things but you have not seen it come to pass i release my faith with you and i command october to deliver the result for you in the name of jesus christ hallelujah everyone who is in ministry here I want to pray for you whether it's an evangelical ministry you are a missionary you are into a prophetic ministry whatever is making it to not work or whether it's a prayer group a fellowship i stretch my hands i strengthen your hands in the spirit fresh fire upon the work that you do in the name of jesus christ if there is anyone in anger who made any pronouncement over your life it could even be your biological parents i stand here by the privilege of the prophetic and the apostolic and i declare that that statement is erased from your life those in business i pray for you 
I decree and declare the spirit that brings fruitless labor you labor so much and yet nothing comes to fruition I cast that spirit from its root now let me pray again in the name of Jesus that everyone trusting God for a miracle job I don't care how long you have waited in the name of Jesus the name that is above every other name I speak to you may the Lord surprise you the Lord is showing me a medical doctor that an appointment is coming for from Abuja one of the hospitals in Abuja as I just prayed this prayer I saw it in the spirit we establish it now in the name of Jesus Christ I'm seeing someone nobody has ever truly applied for a visa and gotten it in your family it doesn't matter how many times they apply and the reasons are legitimate i speak by the anointing of the holy spirit may the favor of god open the doors of nations for you hallelujah one way the spirit of poverty listen eats up resources from people is through the mystery of terminal illness illness that your money must finish before the person for some self aggrandizement no we're talking about kingdom come we're talking about the advancement of the purposes of god lord open my eyes let me connect this finance thing once and for all god of heaven let me not spend my life trying to guess how these laws work open my eyes to see it to eat of the riches and out of the fatness to feed nations hear me we are going to pray the first prayer point tonight is to open up to God with all your heart your areas of darkness and ignorance you are going to have to cry and say Lord I acknowledge you have helped me in this area but I confess that my inadequacy in this area is glaring before me that darkness is crying for your light if you sustain the humility to cry before God, then your heart is open and you are ready to receive illumination in that area. So prayer point number one, Lord, behold the darkness around my life in this and that area. So cry to God. Find a position that is most convenient. We are praying to the God of heaven, the Father of spirits. Shake it, shake it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. You cannot bless a generation until you have obtained the keys that made for that blessing. Listen. It says, let your light. It first must be your light. Not let God's light. Let your light that has now walked in you shine before men that they may see not your light your results your good deeds and glorify your father so the first thing is you must have that light manifestation is impossible until you have encountered light genuine light you are going to cry father like lightning from heaven may the light required for every dimension of my life let it fire from heaven to my destiny Listen, you are going to rebuke what happened in Sodom from your life. That Lord, I am close to an opportunity. I am close. It may be business. It may be financial. It may be marital. It may be your health. It may be ministry. Let me not be close to the door of the next season. And yet blindness will make me weary myself. Give me clarity and precision. Open eyes at the gate. Open eyes at the gate. Open eyes at the gate. Of my next level, open eyes when I stand at the door of the new case. Open eyes, When, when Hagar was banished with Ishmael, they were in the desert. Watch this. The Bible says Sarah gave only a jug of water and sent Hagar away. A jug of water for a destiny journey and then the Bible says that when the water was spent Hagar began to cry and the young lad began to cry and the Bible says God 
He said, respect the covenant. Because we lie the place, the waste places of darkness is a habitation of cruelty. And God had the voice of the young lad. Watch this. And the Bible says that when God came and he conversed with Hagar, suddenly Hagar's eyes was open and she saw an oasis. You can be standing. Do you know I have found out from experience that most of the things that will lift us are close. There are few things that are outside your house. Almost everything you will need is in your house. You can be looking at the jar and the oil, but until you see clearly, you cannot see that that jar and oil can pay your debts. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The miracle of open eyes to know what to do past time past season to know what to do do you know see listen if your eyes are closed many good things will pass you and you will not see and the thing about life is all things don't come easy all times there are things that when they leave it will take a long time like the hand of a clock before it comes again you may be looking for a job and just because your eyes are closed you can be looking at a newspaper and never see an opening and the job will go and the next time they will call for a job again maybe six years you are going to say lord open my eyes to redeem what you are bringing in this season i don't want to miss I don't have that time to waste again. So there are things you are doing in secret. Open my eyes. Koinonia, you are praying. Open my eyes. Open my eyes to come. Open my eyes to come. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. I used to have a dear friend years ago. And I remember him telling me a very serious story. That in the early 90s, 1990, 91, when they were tying water in Lagos, the Spirit of God brought an idea from heaven like fire that once upon a time or a time will come where water will bring billions for people in this country it didn't make sense listen carefully at that time water that you can fetch in a well when they started what we now call pure water he had the opportunity but he could not see the potentials in it and many years later, when people would become billionaires, the father has gone to be with the Lord. And he said, the father stood one day and said, my God, I would have been at the forefront of this. I heard the story of the sewage system in Lagos. That the, it was somebody God gave an idea. He saw what people did not see. And he started sewage. People laughed at him and he made billions from it listen it would take the opening of your eyes to stand and while everybody is looking you are seeing you are seeing a secret there was something listen to me papa Hagen was praying and God gave him an idea on how to sustain ministry. When Papa Hagen was getting old, many people started trying that formula and it stopped working. 
and then there was a man by the name David Yongicho he went to God and cried and said Lord what is the secret to church growth and the Holy Ghost took him to the book of Acts and opened him up to what we now call in the body of Christ the cell system but the system even though it's working right now because times change you will need to keep seeing past season what worked yesterday may fail tomorrow that is why it is important that your eyes never goes dim otherwise yesterday's blessing can become tomorrow's cause you will need the eyes that see there are things that people did 20 years ago in ministry and would excel you do it today because of the context of the generation you are ministering to it may not work again it is god that knows what the next 10 years will be 20 years ago nobody would believe that would be in such a a, a web immersed world and only the god of heaven with the all-seeing eye who can know what the next 10 years will be and let me tell you if god gives you the advantage of sight you can go before a generation comes and wait for them there listen i know what i'm saying i'm not talking nonsense i want you to believe me there are things that god is doing in your life now because of what the future will look like who would have believed that a day will come no matter how diligent you are with a typewriter get any small child now they don't know how to type they swipe you were not like that are we together you find these little children and they are swiping that's a generation you say typewriter they don't know what you're talking about the next 10 years the next five years the next 20 years is not before any scientist there is the eye the king of Syria said, who reveals this secret before it happens? They said, it's none of us. There is a man who does not need to come to the inner chamber, but can stay where he is and have the advantage of sight. This is going to be your prayer. Lord, what is the strategy for dominion? Sociologically speaking, in the years that come, open my eyes. Open my eyes. your voice and pray. We are rounding up. Please be patient. Give us Luke chapter 4, please. From verse 15. Luke chapter 4 and verse 15. Go to 16. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up please look up and as his custom was he went into the synagogue on the sabbath day and stood up for to read next verse and there was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Isaiah. and when he had opened the book he found the place where it 
was written stop keep that scripture there when the book was given he found the place the secret is written somewhere it has to be somewhere there is a place where it is written the secret i need to see the anointing there has to be a book there has to be a message somewhere there are hundreds of koinonia messages but lord as i open my laptop which one has in it what is written for this season and god can open your eyes the bible says listen is it not amazing that even though the book was open he still had to find the book was open but he kept searching until he found the place found the place revelation has location he found the place he found the place lifting has location breakthrough is territorial he found the place where it was written concerning him she found the business that has the grace that is upon her he found the kind of ministry that would lift him listen to me you are going to pray lord the grace to find the place the place for my influence the place every place is not for you lord where is my place the grace to find my place Look at me. Everything that is precious in the spirit is hidden. It's not at plain sight. You can find it through materials. You can find it in men. You can find it in teachings. It is up to you to cry to the God of heaven. The Holy Spirit guides you into all truth. The truth that can fire you to another dimension is hidden somewhere listen i have found things in my life that have become like missing treasures the bible says the kingdom is like a treasure that a man found or got missing and the first thing was that he took a lamp he lit the room and he carried boom and swept that room thoroughly every nook and cranny he swept until he found the treasure and when he found that treasure he had found life there are things God showed me about the anointing there are things God showed me about men there are things God has showed me about the cosmos we are going to pray again I don't know please try to believe some of you what I'm saying may not make sense to you now but if it is dominion you want to walk in you must pray Lord let my eyes locate the information that I need in this season for my next life. Open your eyes.
let me give us one more prayer point Jesus takes a man out of a city who is blind the Bible just calls him a blind man this is someone with a name born of a woman and yet blindness grew to become the capture of his experience he was named after that condition Jesus takes that man spits on the ground listen to me this is a powerful revelation do you have the flexibility to allow God open your eyes the way he wants to I would not want a man to spit on the ground to open my eyes do I have to go through that to see many will say I'd rather be blind but the man was quiet there are times that the 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 level of adaptation and sacrifice it takes to see it will take God to give you the grace are you getting what I'm saying now please follow me that was not the first time Jesus was opening the eyes of many there were others he just laid his hands there were others he touched their eyes and said go and wash in Siloam and here is a man here he comes to Jesus to say, Jesus, let my eyes be open. I'm tired of the limitation that comes with blindness. And then Jesus does not speak the word. He uses saliva. I'm not a medical person, but I know that sometimes if you are fasting or someone, you can have bad breath. Now imagine Jesus spitting on the earth. The level of disdain, all this rigor just to see. Listen seeing is not cheap it will take a level of sacrifice and adaptation and even death yes, sir. there are things you will only see after three months of fasting like you are going to die it is the price for that sight i wish i can tell you with one prophetic word or after this service you will just see everything the prayer is a journey all lights have prices attached to them let me tell you sincerely it is the truth all lights liberate but they do not have equal value there are lights that when you have them they will make you have others are you getting what i'm saying now let me give you an instance you can have light that will bless you in an area and give you breakthrough momentum you can have spiritual light and do well in your spiritual life you can have light in the area of leadership but if for instance your finance remains grounded many other things will suffer because of it so when god gives you light in that area it is from that light you will find where other areas are missing so there are certain lights that until you find them other lights cannot be found that's why i said all lights don't carry equal value there are some lights that will give you rest are you getting what i'm saying but follow my story jesus spits on the ground i'm sure the man is listening on the ground and he mixes with dust and the man is feeling something he rubbed on his eyes and he's saying what is this and jesus says you just keep quiet you are rubbing sand on my eyes what did i do wrong the last time i know sand can cause blindness not open eyes when sand is in your eyes you open it for someone to blow it away no matter how small here is the messiah carrying a lump of sand mixing it to be wet with saliva and putting it in your eyes and he says now what do you see and he said, I've started seeing. But I'm not seeing it. Listen. I've started walking in the anointing. After the rigor and the sacrifice. God can give you an instruction and say for the next two months, 50% of everything you earn, give it away. And he said, Lord, for what? He said, that's the price to lead you into where you will, you will have the open eyes that will make you see for wealth. And he said, God, no, I'm not stupid. I can't work hard and give 
facets in that season. Do you have the flexibility to bend that far? Seeing is not cheap. When the man got up, now listen, because many of us are here, he started seeing, but he was not seeing well. And then he touched his eyes and he says, I now see clearly. You are going to pray. Lord, you touched my eyes four years ago to see what I now see. Please touch it again. In this season, touch it. Shalabata Sofa. You touched my eyes. And I stepped into a level of the anointing. Right now, the needs of the season require a higher level of grace. Touch my eyes. You have to sit on the ground and get settled out of it. I am that flexible if I must fast. I am that flexible if I must pray. I am that flexible. If you would declare me in a season of concentration for that day, I am that flexible. Hallelujah. Please allow me to give us one more prayer point. It just came to my heart. I've taught us that, come guys, that there are three levels of the anointing. Please stand here. You can come here. Watch this, everybody. There is the anointing that is on your life by reason of being a believer. Once you are grafted into Christ, there is a measure of grace and the spirit that is given. Number two. When you find your place in destiny, it doesn't have to be a ministerial office like fivefold. When you find your place, there is always an anointing waiting for you at the place of destiny. It is the anointing that comes with your call, your election, the purpose of God committed to you. Your contribution to kingdom advance has a grace there waiting for you. Watch this. But there is the third level of grace and this is what I want us to pray. God is doing something specific. It is costly to think yesterday's grace will suffice for tomorrow. And so you must obtain through discernment, high level discernment, like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it peaks. Other birds are flapping against the tides. But the eagle, the first thing the eagle does is not to fly. The first thing the eagle does is to stand from the mountain top and with precision of vision, it can watch the tides this way, that way, this way, that way, and it flies and catches up with the current, spreads its wings. That's what we call soaring. It does not fly. The eagle soars birds fly they depend on the energy of that mechanics that they go through there are certain things if you do not know labor and hardship even as pertaining your life and your destiny it will be very clear that the current of god's grace past season is not at work in your life watch this there is now the grace that comes upon your life as a reward for properly discerning what god is doing and plunging out to say like the eagle lord i'm available in this season i have discerned that you are looking for kingdom financiers in this kingdom i have discerned that you are restoring the healing ministry again to the body in this season i have discerned that your pattern of revival has changed it is not a cyclical pattern so i cannot study it from history i will need to learn that move is a new dimension that has not come this is strange but like habakkuk i will stand upon my watch and set myself upon the tower let me discern the current how do you want men to pray in this season how do you want men to fast how can, how must ministry be done like the eagle for that sacrifice of alignment there is an anointing that comes on you 
and when it comes upon you the generation will know that you have been selected to stand to represent the purposes of God now there are people who is not backsliding they are still in the great grand blueprint of God's program but as far as the unique operation of God perceives it they are not there and let me tell you it's a dangerous thing to be there and yet not be there it's a dangerous thing to see Canaan and not enter it's a dangerous thing to once be used and not because your assignment is over for failing to discern someone is going to pray Lord I have the grace I am a believer Lord, I have found my place in purpose and destiny and I testify with all humility that there is a grace on my office. But I confess, give me the eyes of the king to see what you are doing so that I can obtain the grace for this season. Please lift your voice. What you are doing in the lives of men, what you are doing across the nations and territories, show me your Listen, by this prayer, hear me. There are some of you, what you need to see cannot be found on earth. So God will have to route it through the realm of the spirit and show you visions of things. John said, I was in the Isle of Patmos for the testimony of God. He was mandated to write the apocalypse, the revelation. And then he needed to be in the spirit on the Lord's day. Then I saw. There are certain things you cannot see in this realm. As occultists, they will tell you. There are certain things, one time, you know, because of the privilege of the apostolic grace and the office and what I do, I study across religions. I read all kinds of things, not to deceive the body, but then to be able to open up my vastness. And so, through the years, I've done it a lot. And I remember one of the sects uh, on earth, I was studying a bit on how they do their initiation. And there is part of the initiation that happens only when you sleep. Then it continues in the realm of the spirit. When it finishes and you wake up, then it will finish. So it starts physically, but there is a part of it that cannot be physical. Isn't it so? Then you will go to bed and it continues in the realm of the spirit. That con concerns your soul. Your body is not involved. And then later on, you will finish physically. There are people like that. I remember a dear lady years ago who, I think they went to Kano to see someone. A harpalist I was told. The man does not come until there is a sacrifice, a true story. And they brought a goat, physical goat. The goat disappeared in their presence. Not magic, right there. It disappeared. Next thing, a man comes out from nowhere. There are things that cannot be seen in this realm. Please hear me. I'm rounding up. I would lie to you and my conscience will not let me rest if I don't tell you this. I will deceive you if I tell you that everything will be seen only with your optical eyes. There are graces. There are realms you cannot see and you cannot know in this body. Hear me. There are impartations that you cannot receive in the physical. They must happen in the spirit. There are books in the spirit. They are not only books in this realm. John was granted access to see the scrolls in heaven. 
there are callings that when God calls you, you must be exposed to certain kinds of angels. Listen, you will never be effective if you do not know them and how they operate. Now, theoretically, you will see in the world that they excel in light, they excel in strength. And from the truth of scripture, you can walk. But pragmatically speaking, as there are certain anointings when they come upon you, you must see to be effective. If you cannot see, the grace will not be maximized. Because the character of the operation of that grace will not only want you to discern, you must see. It has nothing to do with being a prophet. There are anointings that when they are on your life, your dream life must come alive. Because that is the channel that that grace works. It works through the power of dreams. So I'm not going to deceive you to just say, go and buy physical books alone. No. There are times you will need to pray until you plunge into a reality and a dimension, not divination and some kinds of nonsense. The word of God remains the highest authority. But you can look and the light from scripture enters you and you find yourself ordained into a dimension. I have told you my story. I have met demons. I have met angels. I know a bit about the realm of the spirit. I know a bit about these operations. And it is from the vastness of that knowledge that the dispensing of the grace of God is carried out. When you see me do some of the things that I do, they look easy because it's a product of careful work with the Spirit through many years. But there are many things that happen behind the scenes. If I tell you the power of God is coming on someone, it's not just a guess. No, there are many things that happen. If that revelation is to be broken down, you will be amazed. There are angels that excel in strength, that work with you. What God is doing through koinonia teachings, there is a spiritual dynamics to it. It's not just prayer on something to spread around. No, there is what God is doing. So I, I'm telling you this because you have to be sensitive. There are some of you that would need to pray and say, Lord, even if I cannot see, can you anoint my dreams? Because God will be trying to show you something for a long time. Please listen. And all the channels, don't sing, sang it very well. I said, channels of my spirit open up. Like, like a radio station. God may try to give you a call. God may try to send you an email. God may try to do what the channels. Lord, I know that you seek to communicate certain things to me. My spirit man has to be sensitive in this season. There are encounters I have had even in recent times that it may not be profitable now to share. But every time you see new levels in the spirit, please understand with me that something has happened in the spirit. That I can tell you. Are we together? Yes. People don't just rise. Levels and dimensions don't just change. Authority does not just come just because people are reading scripture. You see, there are things that happen between you and God that is a prohibition. It's not profitable lest the body builds error out of it. So it is not everything that will come by reading books. It is not everything that will come by listening to messages. There are some of you who will be listening to a koinonia message. Because of the grace that needs to come upon your life, you will be forced to sleep. Whether you are feeling sleepy or not, the grace mandates that your body must be at rest so that your spirit can ascend the level that captures the impartation that comes in that meeting. And you will go to bed and still be participating. You will still be following. But the difference now is that the message will now come with imagery. It's not just you listening again. It will bring you into scenarios and you will receive impartations. Listen, how did Solomon receive the grace for wisdom? He slept and a transaction happened in the realm of the spirit. It's in the Bible. How did Jacob receive that grace? Have to round up this prayer. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over every one of your people in this auditorium around and following from any part of the world. In the name of Jesus, I pray that by the power of the Holy Spirit, may your eyes be open tonight. blindness that has been casted over your mind casted over your eyes so that you will not see that which pertains to your dominion in this season I stand in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God and I command let that veil be taken from off your eyes the light that can turn your night to day in the name of Jesus, I expose you to that body of truth. The light it takes to crush the head of evil over your life, over your family, in the name of Jesus, be exposed to that light. The light that must be cast upon your mind in this season to bring to life ideas, concepts helping you maximize opportunities I declare may that light fall upon you now hear me I frustrate the ministry of Satan I decree and declare that every veil he may seek to cast upon your mind may that assignment be thwarted now the anointing that has been looking for you from the beginning of this year by the power of light i connect you to it in the name of jesus christ i sanctify every spiritual channel that God can use to communicate truth to you from your dreams to visions to perceptions I anoint them may they work for you in the name of Jesus every angel assigned in this season to your life to help guide like Daniel working in partnership with the Holy Spirit to provide for understanding may they excel in strength may they excel in light in the name of jesus christ hear me whatever has kept you at the same position in the name of jesus christ the god of heaven by the power of light in this season i move you to the next level of your destiny in the name of jesus Finally, let me pray for your loved ones and all who are connected to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, by the power of sight, by the power of light and illumination, sustain the authority to liberate your loved ones. In the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everyone here, every dormant gift, every ability of the Spirit that is lying quietly, but has not yet been tapped to be profitably used for kingdom advance and for your lifting. I declare a quickening of those gifts now. The appetite to study scripture in the name of Jesus, the appetite to listen to materials that can bless you, to study books, that mental inertia, that wants to cripple your growth and dominion I crush it now in the name of Jesus finally I pray for you the result that must happen in this season to motivate you because you see we are motivated in this kingdom by the workings of the principles that we engage when you engage truth and it works then you are motivated to explore more. I pray for you. The result needed in this season 
that will move you and motivate you to higher realms in the spirit may that result begin to speak in your life finally i pray for you the anointing that is corporately released upon this house in this season to bring men into realms of light and illumination in the name of jesus i connect you to that grace in the name of jesus i connect you to that grace thank you heavenly father in the mighty name of jesus please listen i gave us um three books to read there is a reason why i gave you these books i, I want to encourage us heed to instructions instructions are for our profiting um if you do if you do not have it especially for our family uh in other regions please do well to get it i gave us three books to read number one the final quest rick joiner number two um divine revelation of the spirit realm not heaven not hell not angels the spirit realm mary k baxter and then number three rediscovering the kingdom um miles monroe Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.